to our quarters, Katina, in 1951. Umar was born to the family of late al Haji Musa Ir Adwa, the Matawale of Katina, a seasoned civil servant, famous politician, and the first minister of Lagos in the First Republic. My late father, you know, he brought up us in the true Muslim tradition. They said, a father, a true uh, Muslim, a, a faithful Muslim, will bring up his children to, to, fear, to fear Allah. To be honest, sincere, you know, a hard worker and transparent in whatever you do. And I think, you see, let me tell you, part of the training that my late father gave us, I try to give to my own children. And those of my children that have reached, <coughs> after uh, two of my children that have finished secondary school, when they finish, I sat with them and read to them together with them Surat al Luqman. To you know, Surat al Luqman, if you are the Luqman, the slave of Allah, admonishes and guides his children as to what is important in life and as to how his children you know, should conduct themselves throughout life and what is important in life and what is a, a fallacy in our reality. Hmm? So this is the, the, the secret in which our, our late father brought us, brought us up. It is from this honorable background that Umar was brought up along with his brothers and sisters, among whom was the late Tafid and Kasana General Sheikh Musa Iradwa. With the demise of late Mutawalla Musa Er Adwa and subsequently Tafida Shehu, Umar is today the symbol of Mutawalla Musa family. His living brothers and sisters have their own understanding of the kind of person brother Umar is. Um, by 1958, one Nigeria was preparing a takeover from British colonial masters. Umar was enrolled at Rafaka Primary School for his junior primary education. Between 1962 and 1964, he attended Dusin Boarding Primary School. Young Umar Musa was admitted into Government College Kefi and later the prestigious Barewa College Zaria. Having successfully completed his secondary education, Alaji Umar Musa was admitted into Ahmadu Bele University in 1972 for his first degree in chemistry and graduated in 1975. He did his National Youth Service course at the Holy Child College, Lagos. Umar later enrolled for his master's degree in 1978, which he successfully completed by 1980. Between 1981 and 1983, Umar was a senior lecturer at the Katsina College of Arts, Science and Technology, Kaz Zaria. Umar was among the people selected to teach at the Katsina campus of the same institution and also worked toward the transformation of the school to Katsina Polytechnic. We participated in PRP. I knew him as hardworking, somebody who is serious with his uh, assignment at that time. Then it happens we came together, I left the University of Sokoto, worked with PRP government while 
after his active participating in designing the program for PRP, he did not work with the government but continue with his lecturing. Then we came uh, together at Kaduna Polytechnic after I left Kaduna State Government. Uh, I was head of the Department of Languages and General Studies while he was head of the Department of Sciences. We worked together. I knew him. He is hardworking, honest. That is obvious. He is honest. Very serious on his job. For technique, I found him a very hardworking, uh, intelligent lecturer. Uh, he was taking students in, in chemistry, and in his extracurricular activities was the secretary of the Kosmos Education Foundation, which handled some materials that were donated by people toward the development of education in the state. So he had been an active member of the academic institution and he worked a lot outside the curricula in various fields and uh, to cut it short he contributed a lot towards the development of that institution in a number of ways. Uh, I know Alhaji Umbar to be a very good teacher, a professional teacher and uh, very dedicated. Because he hardly talks. He's all the time with his student, and I could remember I used to see him all the time in a shirt and trousers with a biro in his head, in his hair, I mean. Um, so committed with 